Okay, so what I did for this week's micro lesson is I focused on the if-else statement. And the idea behind the if-else statement is this is a black and white um, logic statement. If a certain condition is met, then it performs at certain condition. And you'll notice that as I put it together, it's called the packages Java application 6. I have my public static uh, classic void main, right? And then my int number equals 10. This is a declaration of an integer right here that equals 10. So I declare it and I put a value on it. Then I go into my statement that says if number is greater than 0, meaning the value that number is is greater than 0, which right now is 10, it'll say the number is positive. Else, it'll say the number is not positive, meaning if it's below, if it's not greater than 0, it's going to be considered uh, not positive. So it's either going to say number is positive or number is not positive. Simple black and white logic. Um, very easy to uh, work out. And the idea, as you'll notice, is the way an if statement works is if this tests true. Now I could go through and I could say if number, um, and I, I believe in Java it's like that. Is it? Oh, no, different language. Uh, how about the C++. I've got a lot of different languages in my head, so let's do not equal to. Yep, perfect. If number is not equal to zero, it'll say system is, number is positive. I could say, also I could change this, the number is not zero. So in this particular case, anytime if the number is zero, or excuse me, if number is not equal to zero, it'll say number is not zero. And otherwise, it'll say number is not positive. I could change that to say number is zero. Right? So I can do things along those lines, and I can modify the values. But you'll notice the way it works. This is a variable that I'm testing. These squirrely brackets here, it begins here, it ends here. Anything in between those two pair of brackets are executed. So right now, I have one line, right? I could do things like, oh, number equals number plus five. So in this particular case, now what I've done is when this executes, I not only do I perform, say, number is not zero, I add one, I add five to the number. And I could do um, system.out.out print line uh, <laughs> the new number is right so then we have our new number and I could say I could combine the two but let's make it easy right now system dot out dot print line number right so in this particular case, what I'm doing is I'm saying, okay, everything if number is not equal to zero, meaning if my number is not zero, then I say the number is not zero, so it says this number is not zero, then number equals number plus five, system dot out print, uh, dot, uh, print line, you, mu, uh, the new number is, and it'll say system dot out uh, print line, and it'll say whatever the new number is. And so anything between here and here only executes when number is not equal to zero. Anything that executes, this the only time that this executes is if it's zero. Because I have it combined, I have it just broken down to any number, only zero. And this right down here always says the statement is executed. So it'll always do this. Why? Because here's the brackets that uh, frame the else condition. Here's the brackets that uh, frame the, um, the main condition. And this is outside both conditions, but always runs when the program itself runs. All right, and if you have any particular questions about those things, let me know. So what I did is I kind of rearranged my screen a little bit. So you'll see down here, after I ran it, it said the number is not 0, right, because it's not 0. The new number is 15, because it's... 10 plus 5 equals 15. Now if I come in here and I change this to 0 and then I go ahead and run it 
The number is zero. That's all it does because it only executes what's right here. Now, ideally, in an ideal situation, what I could actually do, let me bring my little face up here. Uh, what I could do is I could make this be input from a user, and then it'll go through these conditionals to give you some value. So if I come in here, let's say I'm going to make that 20. I said, okay, so I'm going to run this. I come up here, boop. The number is not zero, which is true. The new number is 25. The new number is, is this a print line? And then, once again, here's our else statement. So any time this is correct, it runs all of this when this is true. I could change the true statement and do something like uh, the number is, let's do greater than 15. Um, greater than 15, right? So if the number is greater than 15, the number is, we're going to put greater than 15 and system.outline the number is less than 15. Okay. Now you'll notice that I can change this right now if it's equal to 20. Oops. Boop. It'll say, okay, uh, it'll actually execute because the number is automatically greater than 15. So it'll go up here because I said it is 20 says the number is greater than 15, the new number is 25. The statement is always executed. Now, if I took something like this, the number equals number plus five, and I copied it, and I put it outside of the if statement, so it executes no matter what, what it'll do is it'll automatically add five to the number before it ever gets to the program. So let's say, for instance, I make this to be number is 11. Well, before it would never execute because it would never be greater than 15. But because I added 5 to it here, watch what it does. The number is greater than 15 because it adds 5 to it before it even reaches that point. So it makes it 16. And then it says the new number is 21 because it adds another 5 to it here. So I'm, I can make changes such as this. Right? Mm -hmm. I just commented that out. So I could take out boop. And then I come along here and I run it and now it'll change to number is greater than 15 because that adds 5 to it makes it 26. The number is 16 because it tells me what the number is based off here. Notice it never says number is less than 15. Now if I come along in here and I change this to 6 as example and then I run it number is less than 15 statement is always executed so it always does this and then we get to the second half of the if then right there so that gives you kind of an in and out of the if then statement kind of a way to modify it and you're kind of watching the modifications it also gives you a firm setup of how a program can work and be completed so and then if so if you're having some difficulty running your programs if you're having some difficulty playing with them this gives you an idea of how to make those work uh, thank you very much for your time have a good day and if like i said keep the good questions coming uh, keep the good videos coming whatever you need